I think the biggest kill joy for all like of this idea of creating like a Christian culture versus actually hearing the breadth and the width of just these people's hearts to God. The biggest killjoy I have is when somebody says, oh, you meant to say, or you should say it this way, or you, and that's the kind of comments I got growing up my entire life. I mean, I would sit in Sunday school classes and we'd be reading the most basic of Bible stories like David and Goliath. And I'd be like, whoa, okay, let's think about this. What if, and they'd be like, and I'd go off on like a tangent on something about the story of David and Goliath. And then I typically get met with a Sunday school teacher or somebody in the classroom that goes, well, we can't read that that really happened. So let's not explore that idea or let's, it, it was always met with a shutdown. And I feel like we're too afraid of questions. We're too afraid of, of being seekers. And I'm just like, let's go. Like, I'm not afraid of doubts. I'm not afraid of the questions. And I don't think God is for one second either, you know? Mm -hmm. Take the the famous, you want to talk about a tangent, let's go here for a second. Talk about the famous story of doubting Thomas. You know, here he is, last one on the scene to realize that Jesus is risen from the dead. And everybody's telling him, hey, Jesus was here. And he's like, mm, not until I see his hands and not until I put my hand in his side, then I'm not going to believe it. And we're like, oh, we're going to call this guy Doubting Thomas the rest of his life. You know what I'm saying? And, and here's the coolest thing about Thomas. The coolest thing is that when we really read scripture and you go through and you see that his name was also Didymus, meaning twin, we say that Thomas is a doubter, and that's why he was such a punk. Thomas actually had the authority to mark the characteristics and differences between a fake and a counterfeit because he'd probably been doing it as a twin his whole entire life between him and his brother. And we never see that. We never see that, whoa, here's this guy saying, here's my doubts. No, he's saying, hold up, I know that people mistake me for my brother, all the time. So unless I see Jesus, his nails, where they were, and actually put my hand in his side, then I'll know it's him. And here he is. We're, we've got a, an authoritative figure saying, I want to see the counterfeit versus the authentic one. And we call him a doubter. And God created him that way as Didymus, the twin that at the end of the day would go, my Lord, my God. And actually, when you look at the Greek, it means Lord of me, God of me. That whole story about Thomas is about his identity identity, actually being somebody that was strong and strengthened to know the difference between one fake and one real. And we like to just label them really fast and quick and go, God, Jesus told you stop doubting and believe. So you must be a stupid doubter. <laughs> and Jesus is telling him, hey, 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 you've only seen your identity versus your brother's identity your holy life. You've only seen the fact that I'm here or I'm dead or that I may be a ploy from the Romans right now to start a riot. But look at me. You didn't even ask. And I'm telling you, here's the proof you need. You know, God will always meet us at the point of our doubts and our discontent. And he will always give us the tools that we need to be able to see the truth. And I think the church is just a little bit behind on that, being okay with saying, let's go. Let me have my questions. Let me have the things that are going to actually spur me on to know the truth and the authentic God that we serve. Hey, y'all. We hope you love this conversation. Here at Young Married Christian, we are on a mission to see a gospel-centered home made available for every single child in the foster care system. There are 400,000 kids in the foster care system, and there are 400,000 churches in America. Wow. That is crazy. This is absolutely a solvable problem, and we want to be a part of it. If you want to join us in that mission, text the word FREEDOM to 833-370-1610. 833-370-1610. 833-370-1610. And another thing you can do that is really helpful is to smash the like button on this video. Smash it like Satan's face. Crush it like it's Lucifer's head. It really helps us a ton. So smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. That's it. <laughs> smash the like button on this video.